guys, it is Elisa here or The Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope you're having a wonderful one. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me and I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I have a... I don't know what I have. I have a kind of unboxing video slash plans uh, for uh, this kit. I've never done a video like this. I've never done a diamond painting like this. And if I can succeed, it's going to be an epic project. So I can't wait to show you guys. Now, disclaimer, my husband is home from work today. So you may hear some extra background noise. I try to filter it out during editing, but sometimes you can still hear it. So hopefully it's not too bad. Now, first thing I'm going to do is share what I have in front of me. Uh, this is not a sneak peek. It's, it's just an unboxing of a kit that was released. I think it was released on Black Friday last year, if I'm not mistaken. I could be totally wrong. Anyway, it's a square diamond painting kit. We can tell because of the blue and the square. And this is the image. So this is called Sleepy Orange Tabby Cat by Aja Trier. It's going to be a 60 by 60 centimeter diamond painting, so it's a perfect square. And uh, I have opened this previously to take a look at the canvas and also because I needed to see the canvas in order to, to plan what I am going to share with you guys today. So uh, let's open this up and take a look. It is back in its little baggie, but there's no toolkit. It's not going to be a typical unboxing, but I am going to show you obviously the canvas itself so it does come in let me zoom out again the dust sleeve of course don't mind any pet hair that is on the back of the canvas but here is this image now this artist uh, diamond art club has released quite a few artworks from this artist i've never actually done one because I tend to shy away from canvases that are very high in confetti, which this artist's paintings are, just the nature of how they look. But I'm also going to show you actually a second diamond painting during this uh, of the same artist, and you will come to realize the inspiration and kind of why I wanted to get this painting. Originally, what I, I, I can't remember which kit came out first, either this one or the one I'm going to show you in a bit, but when I saw them, I thought, you know what, these would make great companion pieces if I can switch this orange tabby cat to look like my ragdoll cat. Now, if you don't know what a ragdoll cat looks like, I'm going to post a picture of mine up uh, on the screen now. Mine obviously is beige and very dark brown uh, on her face and her uh, feet and her tail. Otherwise her body is like beigey colors. So very different than an orange tabby cat, but she sleeps a lot and she's always in this kind of position. So I thought, you know, if I could swing it and turn this into a ragdoll cat, it would be a perfect kind of memorial piece. And you'll see why in a bit. But here is this image. So let me just kind of go from the top corner. You can see that starry kind of night background and over to this side. So it is at nighttime. Little orange tabby cat is sleeping. And then there's not much at the bottom, just some grass. So this is the orange tabby cat at night. Let me show you the information here. Again, it's a 60 by 60 centimeter square diamond painting uh, by Aja Trier and Diamond Art Club. Here is the sticker sheet. So this kit has, what do we have here? Oh yeah, the thank you brochure. I'm not going to go over. Here is the sticker sheet. So uh, again, here's a look at the original artwork. Beautiful. There are 53 colors and charted in this one are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ABs. Any number under 150 with Diamond Art Club is an AB diamond. And then no other special diamonds. Special, other special diamonds can be found at the bottom of the list and there is none here. So just some ABs. Now, I do see one of them is number three, which looks like it'll be an orange. So I may be eliminating that. I wonder, let me just take a quick look. There are some oranges in the moon, so I will leave those ones. But if there's any orange ABs in the cat, obviously I am going to swap those out. But um, if I can pull this off, it's going to be an epic project and I'm really excited to see. I think I can pull it off. I may uh, pull some hair out in the process, but I think it is going to be a very creative uh, project for me. I feel like... Um, I have some mental clarity that I could actually tackle a project like this and 
I'm excited to get into it. So these are the diamond colors for this kit, aside from, you know, well, you can't really see there. Let me open them. I have opened them before because I needed to take a look and see what kind of colors were in this kit. But of course, we have lots of pretty blues that are going to be in that sky there. And of course, a whole bunch of different oranges. We've got some beautiful greens, we've got browns, more blues, lots of black in the outlining, lots more greens here, of course, oranges uh, for the cat, and yeah, lots of different colors here. So it's got a good color spread. It's going to be fun to work on. Let me put the diamonds off to the side. And let me show you this second diamond painting that I pulled out. This is by the same artist. This one's not in a box. It's just in a stuff sleeve. And this one is called Multi Poo Night, I believe. Is that it? Yeah, Multi Poo Night. Let me just roll it backwards on itself. It does measure the exact same size. So 60 by 60 centimeter, a perfect square diamond painting by the same artist. Now, if you know what kind of dog I have, it's not a multi-poo, but she is a little Pomeranian Shih Tzu and she looks very much like this diamond painting. So when I saw that they came out with this one, I knew I had to have it. And then I saw the orange sleepy cat and I thought, man, if they could do a ragdoll cat, this would be a perfect pair of memorial pieces one day. My, my animals are older. The cat is 14, the dog is 12, and you know, they're not getting younger. So my animals aren't depicted very often in diamond paintings. So I've been on the lookout for images that would suit them, that I could have something special. I absolutely love this diamond painting, especially I love that there's the grasses on the bottom and then they've got this beautiful sunset here with all these beautiful colors. Got some mountains too with some water and then of course the sky. I am going to attempt also not just to change out this orange tabby cat to look like a ragdoll cat, but I'm also going to attempt to insert the same skyline as you saw on multi poo night so essentially i'm going to take all of these colors in this kind of area of the painting like about there and there and i am going to transport it into the this diamond painting so i am going to obviously sit them kind of side by side and kind of get them to be somewhat even so that one day i envision in my craft room i will have these two paintings framed side by side so i do want them to be somewhat symmetrical i don't think i need to change too much up in the sky however it does look like the multi poo night is more um has a little bit well maybe they're about the same Again, the tabby cat night is at nighttime and this one is like at sunset. So it's a little bit earlier in the evening. So there might be some brighter colors in the sky here, but generally speaking, they do look pretty similar. There is more black, I think, because again, it is nighttime. But yeah, that's the other part of this epic project. I am going to take the sunset from multi -Poo night and put it here so that they look almost identical in terms of the backgrounds. And then I'm gonna have, of course, my ragdoll here. And then Zoe, I'm not gonna alter the dog painting at all because it looks like Zoe. So same colors too. So uh, that's gonna be easy, but this is the project that I'm gonna dive into. I wanna do this one next because I think it's going to bring a challenge. The, the current whips I have going, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of a little bit bored because they're just very simple diamond paintings. I'm not enhancing them at all. I'm following the charted pattern, so it's just very kind of, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like you really get lost in the diamond painting. It's great uh, for therapeutic reasons, but it doesn't challenge my brain at all, and I do like a challenge every now and then. So I think I'm up to trying this one, and quite honestly, it's been frightening me. Now, to, um, here is the sticker sheet for Multi Poo Night. This one has 59 colors. It also has um, three ABs and it actually has one fairy dust. So that'll be nice for this one. This one I'll do a proper unboxing when I do get to the kit, but um, I've actually bought two of these Multi Poo Nights and that's because I want to use the exact same diamonds here on this canvas. So I didn't want to, you know, follow this chart, but source my diamonds elsewhere because 
if you've worked in Diamond Art Club, you know that their diamonds are looking really good these days. And honestly, I don't think there's anyone out there who make the same quality of diamonds. So I did buy two of these and one of them I am saved the drills for and I'm going to use them to basically transport this onto the cat diamond painting. And I'm probably going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that first or last. It's going to be quite the project because I'm going to have to work on this in different pieces. I don't know what I want to do first. Let me know what you think I should do first. Should I change this orange cat to my ragdoll first or should I do uh, transfer over the uh, sunset backing here into the tabby cat. Let's kind of do it like this. Let me just move my light over a little bit. I'm kind of lining it up now. So that's kind of where it will be. So this I'm going to just transfer over. And of course, I'm going to use washi tape to kind of um, draw the line across here and then at the top here. So I will draw it kind of across here and then all in this green background area, of course, is where I'm going to follow this pattern. So it's going to be quite epic. I don't know if I should do that part first, transfer this over here, or if I should just do the cat first. My gut is telling me to do the cat first. If, if, if it's like turns out to be an impossible project, I'm not going to want to do the sunset background. So I might do it that way. But let me know what you guys think I should do. Also let me know how successful you think I'll be now. The thing that I've had to do is I've had to collect a lot of beige and brown diamonds because my cat is beige and brown. Um, I did print this picture out now. It's not going to come through nicely because I've just printed this on computer paper. Uh, so it's not, the colors are not the greatest. And you can see my cat, like she's got a dark face, a dark tail, dark paws, dark ears, and then the rest of her body, like around her neck and then around like the bottom part of her body, like her backside there is a very light beige. And then in the, the kind of core of her body, it's kind of darker on the top. And then it goes to a lighter brown in a few different shades. So I snapped this picture of her one day when she was sleeping on the bed because I thought it kind of looks like she's sleeping in this similar kind of way as this orange tabby cat. So I hope that this is good enough that I can just use it as a reference to know what colors to put where. Originally when I purchased these paintings, I did sit down, I did look at them, I kind of charted them, I went online, I looked at all the different colors that I thought might look good with my cat. I ordered a Diamond Art Club painting that was on sale just to get a lot of Diamond Art Club diamonds. So it was actually, I think it was one of the Enz Guerrero paintings. Uh, she's had a few diamond paintings released that are kind of brown and beige and not many other colors. I can't remember the name of the painting. I think it started with Lunum, Lunum something. Uh, you may know what I'm talking about. I did buy that painting on sale just for the diamonds because again, when you're working with Diamond Art Club, I mean, their diamonds are of, of a high quality and um, I personally haven't been able to find anyone's diamonds close enough. So I really don't want to mix two different companies on my Diamond Art Club canvas, especially because this canvas is going to be very sentimental. If I can pull it off, it's going to be epic. And it's also going to remain sentimental because I've had both my dog and my cat since they were both very little, around three months old and um, they've grown up together. Well, they are two months apart, but uh, they get along really well and they have a great relationship and they've been a big part of my life and they've gotten me through some very difficult situations coping wise. So it, it, it is gonna be a very sentimental piece. So I want it to look good and I want it to be perfect. So um, what I did do is I bought that painting. I took a look at the different shades that there are and I put them aside and then I went to Oraloa's website and I actually ordered quite a few. I think all of these in here are from Oraloa. I went through their website and what kind of colors they had and uh, I ordered a bunch. Probably did I order two bags of a bunch of things? It looks like I probably did. I probably, yeah, because I wanted to see the shades. I'm somebody who can't really look on a computer and say, yes, these are the colors I want. These are the shades I want. These are going to look good together. I'm somebody who's a visual person and I really need to have everything in front of me for me to kind of plan it out. And this is going to be particularly hard because this orange tabby cat is super confetti heavy. 
and um, I'm not going to be swapping, you know, a specific symbol out for another color. It's not that simple. I'm, I'm redesigning this entire cat. And my cat has different, um, different kind of, uh, how do you describe it? Let me pull up the sticker sheet again. Like this artwork in itself is a very particular style as well, which is going to be difficult because, you know, like the way the light, the lighter colors are here and some of the darker colors, like that's not where those colors are in my cat. So I'm going to have to do this in a way that not only looks like my ragdoll cat, but also maintains the look of this style of artwork. It's kind of, I don't know if it's an oil painting type look. I'm, I'm blanking on the kind of painting, but if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. I think it might be oil painting, just the way the, the painting looks. I don't want to take that away and all of that detail and definition and just look like a, a blob of brown and, and beige and not really like it doesn't fit in you know so this is really going to be an epic project I feel like I am going to be popping diamonds off like crazy I'm going to be placing them I'm not going to like them and I'm going to have to pop them off I think what I'm going to do in terms of how I'm going to tackle this sorry I'm going to zoom out again I think I'm going to do her face first because her face is very very dark I think I'm going to do her face first and kind of go from there her body is going to be difficult because there's lots of beiges and when looking at her like it's very like an ombre effect it's very dark and then it goes down in shades but this kind of painting isn't like that i need your opinions you guys if you've ever done an epic project like this or you have any tips if you're an artist or you know anything about diamond painting and rendering things uh, and you have any suggestions for me to make this as easy of a process as possible so that I don't make too many mistakes because I just I know this project is going to give me a headache but I want to to be you know as little of a headache as possible but um, I am happy that I have quite a lot of diamonds from Diamond Art Club I've got some some kind of you know lighter browns different kind of shading these three colors alone will be really good for the shading 3371 779 and 3860 for the dark colors i just have to figure out a way to do it properly and then i have tons of this 543 so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna have enough of this for majority of the beige color i think it really suits that color a lot and then i did buy some like i said from oraloa that are a bit of a different color a little bit of a different shade so that i could create some dimension in that too because again i just don't want to be all of this color it's not going to translate nicely into this painting it's it's if i just use all of this it's not going to fit the painting i need to use different colors and i and i need to strategically place them so that again that we maintain this kind of oil painting effect so this is going to be difficult this is going to be a project so yes if 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 you have tips i need all of your tips this color I'm probably not going to use 452. It's probably not. Maybe, 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 maybe a little bit it can fit in. Um, I've got extra 310 if I need it. I think like I'm going to try my best to just use the Diamond Art Club diamonds and then fill in with some of these or a lower ones as I need it again. The main reason why I just got a bunch of colors is because I I could not wrap my brain around it. I, I needed to have them in front of me to be able to kind of see all of the subtle changes in shade. I'm just trying to sort them out here. It looks like I got two bags of everything just in case. So I do, I do have a lot of diamonds. I think I have enough diamonds. Am I zoomed out enough? I think I have enough diamonds that it's going to work. It's just the process of how the heck am I going to make it work and make it the shading look good while also trying to mimic the original artwork in terms of that oil painting look. Definitely going to start with the face. I think that's going to be the easiest and then I might do her tail next and then her body is going to be where I really do a lot of shading with the different beiges and I think I have enough to do that. It is really hard like just looking at this canvas and once I'm done filming just kind of this uh, explanation with you guys I'm going to 
really take a deeper look, but let me zoom in again. Like looking at the body, here's kind of the body of the painting, of the cat, sorry. Um, look at all the color changes. There's so many different colors. The other thing what I might do, and actually I do have a picture saved on my phone. I just have to find it of this painting completed. I think I just took it from the website. If you go to the review section of your diamond painting that you're working on on their website, sometimes you will see finishes. I find that is sometimes helpful when I'm enhancing a diamond painting or when I'm changing something out is to look at the actual diamond painting in its finished form. My brain can look at the colors and um, it's a little bit easier than looking at this and trying to decide what looks what looks good. Let me see if I can pull up that image. So I uh, went to the review website and pulled up the picture again. So this is just looking at the backside where we're kind of looking, I don't know, I find it's a lot easier rather than looking at this and trying to picture it when you can actually pull up a finished piece of artwork. Then you can actually see the colors, where the highlights are, where the dark spots are, and kind of it's, it's a lot easier for my brain to kind of decide where am I going to put the diamonds. Where are the light ones going to go? Where can I keep the accents in? Where is it going to kind of lose itself? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down with this and I'm going to sit down with this with my diamonds and I am just going to give it a go. I wish there was a way that I could like chart it out like right on the canvas and, and, and do something like that but I can't. I just have to eyeball it. But I have, I think, enough shades of brown that it's going to work. It's just, can I execute it? Is it going to look good? Is it going to look good enough? <laughs> you know? Uh, so yes, please, if you have tips, let me know what you guys think. How to make this easier. How to make sure that I get it to look like a ragdoll cat without losing too much of the kind of detail and all the dimension that this artist has in the paintings. That's going to be the tough part. But I think once I get the face down, then I'm going to do the tail because her tail is dark. I mean, I'm going to have to eliminate a lot of the white they have in this, like in the tail because her tail is dark. So like these white strips, uh, stripes, they're going to be gone, right? So... Yeah, it's just going to be, quite honestly, it's overwhelming looking at it because there's just so many colors in this orange cat, right? And they do have some browns in it, but not really the shade of brown that my cat is. I'm going to take a look once I, I have this painting kitted up. I'm going to look at the like the 8s and the Js and the Ts, all of the browns that are in here, and decide if I want to remove them or if I want to keep them. I might keep them where they are and work around them because then that would maintain some of the original kind of charting. So that might be a way to go. I just envision that there's going to be a lot of trial and error. I'm going to be putting a lot of diamonds down and probably taking a lot of diamonds off, which I really don't like doing. So this project might take me a little while. I might work on it in between other projects, but I think I'm ready to finally tackle this. I'm excited to hear. I hope some of you guys have tips. I know quite a few of you have been in the diamond painting community quite a long time and you've enhanced your own diamond paintings, changed things up. So I look forward to hearing all of your tips. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me. Uh, liking a video really does help on YouTube land. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you. Hit that notification bell also to be notified when I do post new videos. And yeah, wish me luck on this epic project, you guys. I will I will do my best to update as I go and fingers crossed this if it turns out it's going to be amazing and I I'm I'm my gut says it's going to work we're going to make it work and ah, I can't wait to see see the final picture otherwise until next time happy time pin you guys bye